All right, so last night we set traps. We went to 10 pack rat middens and we set two traps at each of the middens. Today, and we're gonna to call today day one, we're gonna check the traps, all right? Now remember our goal is to estimate the population size of Neotoma albigula on the Red Mountain campus and to figure out their density. And to do that, we use this mark and recapture technique. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of the math involved with the mark and recapture technique. It's very, very simple. And we are day one. And on day one, we're gonna check the traps and see how many tagged animals we're gonna get. So I'm gonna write that as the number, number of marked animals, the number marked. Now, the entire population of pack rats on campus consists of the number of marked plus the number of unmarked animals. Now, the number of marked animals we'll know because we're gonna check the traps and we're gonna mark them all. The number of unmarked animals, we don't know, all right? And that's the animals that are on campus that we didn't trap, of course, and didn't mark. But we can estimate this number based on what we get on day two. On day two, we're gonna have number of marked animals and then we're going to have the number of unmarked animals. Now we're going to collect this day two data on Thursday morning because we'll set traps out on Wednesday and we'll check them on Thursday morning and all of the animals in the traps will either be marked animals, these are recaptures, or unmarked animals, ones we've never caught before. Now, the ratio of unmarked to marked animals on day two is exactly the same as the ratio of marked animals to unmarked animals on day one. So we can simply cross multiply to figure out this unknown number and then we can add this unknown number that we arrive at by cross multiplication add it to this one and we get our total population size all right and then we're going to do a little extrapolation we have marked or captured animals at 10 middens and we can look on campus and figure out how many middens there are. We can walk campus and we can count the total number of middens. And campus is 48 hectares. So then we can just do a little extrapolation. For example, I'll do this for easy math. If there are 20 middens on campus and we have estimated the population size at 10 middens, then of course we just double that number and that will give us the estimated population size for 20 middens. Now, if we don't wanna walk around campus and count every midden, then we can simply look roughly at the area that we've sampled with our 10 middens, calculate that area, and again, do an extrapolation with some maths to figure out how much, how many middens we would have in 48 hectares. All right, but we'll go over this math in a little bit more detail, but I just wanted to give you a, an idea of um, how we're gonna use the numbers that we collect today. So I'm gonna have a little check to see what they are, and if they're Neotoma, then we will process the animal and if they're not near Toma then we'll just release them. I'm, I'm thinking this one is not because it's wiggly. No, it's a near Toma. Alright. So they're actually quite cute. I know people get freaked out by rats but do you want to have a little peep in there? Okay. All right, so we'll process these guys. So that's two animals. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is shake the animal from the box into the bag. I've got these big thick gloves because they've got big teeth and they're very bitey. So 
So Joey, I'm gonna have you tie this bag. Just tie it, just one knot. Doesn't have to be super tight. <clears throat> That's it. A bit tighter. That's it. Okay, great. Grab the scale for balance. Awesome. Okay, so mass of this animal is 100, where are we? 190 grams, but that's the mass of the animal plus the mass of the bag. We've already weighed the bag and the bag weighs 40 grams. So we're gonna write down the mass of this animal on our data sheet as 190 grams. And then when we enter it in our notebook, when we get back to the lab, we'll subtract the mass of the bag. All right, good. So now we're going to mark the animal. I'm going to give it a very stylish tattoo. Mm -hmm. Envy of all pack rats. All right, Joey, so if you can undo the knot. <clears throat> That's it. All right, now sometimes they get out, they escape before we manage to mark them. I don't want it to escape, but sometimes they just do. So coming close. All right, there we go. And I wanna give it a little Sharpie mark in the ear. All right, so we're gonna do animal left. Sorry, animal left, that's the left. And you're gonna do a little mark inside the ear. So just give it a good old color. Lots, 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 lots. So it's absolutely All right, can you see that? Mm -hmm. All right, so we've good. We've given it a mark inside left ear. And then we're gonna sex this animal before I release it. It's small, but it looks like a male. Joey, put this as a male, but no, it's a female for sure. Female, okay. All right, and let's release her. So if I was a betting man, I would say this one's gonna be a boy, right? Date night last night. <laughs> so this one has a mass of animal plus bag of 240 grams. It's heavier than the last one, which is another little indicator that it's a mature male. And so this one, Joey, will mark inside right ear. <clears throat> and there are different ways to mark them. I'm using a Sharpie mark because I'm not worried about longevity. It just has to stay there for the next three days and it generally does. But there are other ways we can mark them. We can use ear tags and they're reasonably permanent, but they can tear out. Or we can use something called pit tags, the same sort of thing that we chip dogs and cats with. And that's very permanent and very long lived. All right, so they're terrified. They don't like the light. All right, so there you go, inside right here. You can get sort of deep in there as well so it doesn't wear off, deep in that little fold. That's an awesome. Very, very stylish, I must say. The envy of all your buddies. All right, so let's sex this, but definitely a male. Okay, all right, good. So we'll release this guy. <clears throat> there we go, little fella. All right, so nothing in this one. So trap number one empty. Trap number two, we got something. All right, so this animal, we've got a mass of animal plus bag of, we're gonna call this 204 grams. Good. So this one, we're gonna do a Sharpie mark outside left ear, right there. So just push the ear against the glove and then mark it. That's it, awesome. All over. Let's release this little, I think it's a little lady, but let's have a look. No, it's a male. Okay, it's a male, little oh, boy. Who's it? Okay. Okay. 
All right, so we just checked all the traps. All right, all 20 traps. So we can fill in this number here, the number of marked animals on day one. And that number is 11. We call 11 Neotoma. Now remember, the total population of Neotoma is this ratio, is the number of unmarked animals, and that's the animals on campus that we didn't catch, plus this number 11, the number we did catch. The ratio of unmarked to this number is exactly the same as the ratio of unmarked to marked animals that we'll get on day two. So we'll be able to fill in this number and this number on day two, which for us will be Thursday morning. Then we can do our cross multiply math to figure out this unknown, add this number to this number, and that gives us our total population of pack rats for 10 middens. And then we've got to do a little bit more math if we want to find out how many pack rats there are on campus. And then a little bit more math if we want to figure out the density of pack rats, that's the number per hectare. All right.